Barry is a constant, reliable presence. An old guy, maybe maybe sixties, with a with a bald head, a long white beard, and uh, learning disabilities, to go along with the bad mental health, dressed in a t-shirt and slacks that seldom gets changed. He's always doing the same thing. Might have to read this. He walks slowly to the doors of the ward, turns around, walks down the corridor, past the TV sets in the living room area, Mm. to the point where the corridor ends, turns around and walks back to the doors. Then, on reaching them, turns around and shuffles down the corridor, and so on and on, and... Endlessly repeating. He sometimes mumbles to himself in a high wheedling whine when he is not eating jellied sweets. He does this all day, every day. When you pay him attention, he's a depressing sight. The fact that he is spending half of his time walking towards locked doors takes on more significance for me, I think, than it does for him. Poor bastard. But you soon come you soon become used to his constant procession. We all happily tuck into our meals as as Barry walks past the dining area, happily tucking in to Tangfastics. In the past, I've had fun with him. On the rare occasions he is sitting down, I've thrust a guitar his way and been treated to long stream of consciousness songs about Buffy the Vampire Slayer all delivered off the top of his head in this dumb, weird falsetto, explaining character's motivation and complex plot points. If he was on stage, you might be convinced that he was a very good character comedian. But he's not. He's just handicapped and mental. Sorry about that. Recently, I've been on a mission to get Barry into the garden. His mumbling march has really started doing my head in. So, I've been following him up and down, constantly cajoling and pestering him to step outside. Hiya, Barry. Why don't we, why don't we take a walk in the garden? It, it, it's nice out there. I'm all right, Dave. Come on. Just, just, just turn left here. It's great. There's like, there's like birds and everything. Barry, muttering to himself and half to me, always turns me down in a way that gives no impression about being annoyed at my endless nagging. I picked this up today, however, because today Barry reacts. He's being followed up and down the ward by a member from the mental health charity, Mind, who visit every now and again, and they're discussing his care plan. Barry, like me, hasn't left the ward, and I think he should be getting some encouragement to do so. Another small point where I obviously have a higher understanding than all the doctors and nurses. I really should be running this place. I butt in. Uh, excuse me, yeah, I think Barry would should be encouraged or, or should have a uh, an escorted walk. Barry turns to me full of pent-up frustration. Fuck off, Dave. No one cares what you think. Then <laughs> Barry delivers three fast and alarmingly precise blows. Two quick jabs to the face, and then one haymaker uppercut 
that throws me against the wall. I find this hilarious. I let out a brief giggle and lip bleeding slide to the floor. Nurses bundle in and Gary is, is, is taken away. <laughs> I'm tended by Tamika, the, the student doctor of the ward, who's, who's Chinese and quite cute. She tries to get some sense out of me about the incident, but I'm just laughing too much. <laughs>